Yo, what's up guys? So I got you guys another stencil today and today we're focusing on scales and it's uh, again another one that would have saved me lots of time back in the day um, especially for these like dragon scale type things. Um, it's really great. We also got a fish scale stencil in there as well as two uh, freehand templates so it comes with four total pieces uh, for you to create all your uh, scales on your dragon paintings, your snake paintings, on whatever it is that you're painting. Uh, as you can also overlay them and keep them going if you want me to create a large pattern. Um, these are really good for that. So anyway, enjoy this quick video showing you how to use the stencil. Thank you guys for ordering. As a member, the link is down below if you want to get your hands on one of these. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later. All right, so the Mike's Brush uh, Scale Effects stencil comes with four different cutouts here. Comes with the scales. A fish scale kind of cut out here um, as well as a pre-made cutout for making fish scales kind of freehand and a pre-made cutout for making scales like a reptile kind of scales um, also kind of like a freehand template um, so here we have our painting that I'm working on and I'm going to use our scale stencils here to give this guy here some cool looking scales um, pretty easy. So I'm going to start off by using this scale stencil here and as you can see it kind of goes from big to from big to small you know and I'm just going to kind of lay this in on his neck and kind of start him going down and then I'm going to use the other scales fish kind of scales uh, kind of coming off his chest here but as far as neck you know and this area and so what I've done here on my painting, I've laid down all my dark colors um, and the base color for the scales. And then I'm going to use um, some white and I've kind of reduced it a little bit um, to highlight our scale stencil in the areas that we're going to use it. So I'm going to take a little bit of tape and kind of place it where I want it. Place. I'm going to come in with my white and I'm just going to, maybe I don't want it on his face right now, I just want it on his neck and kind of chest area going down. So I'm just going to lightly just lightly hit it in take that off and bam we have our nice scales looking real good right there same thing on the other side I'm gonna flip it around and kind of give myself the same area and we're gonna tape that one in same thing I'm just gonna hit it in nice and light kind of kind of block my face here That makes that real simple adding those in I'm gonna take our fish scale stencil here same kind of same kind of premise we're gonna start off kind of here on his chest and we're just gonna hit hit the edges the humps you know and we're just gonna kind of move it on only on that first one and then on that second one we're gonna move it over and just hit that whole edge right there. See that? And I'm just gonna move it back down. I'm gonna get some quick looking scales. Nothing too crazy. Um, all this paint's fluorescent on here, so I kinda wanna leave a lot of it showing. I'm not trying to use a bunch of black. Simple. Then we're gonna take this stencil right here, right? And you see these areas right in here. Take some of this, kind of line it up right, right up in there. 
And that's gonna kind of bring those together, right? that kind of brings it all in maybe we want to use this to fade it off all right, something like that and just working it around maybe I'll use some of this right here on the side of his face just to switch it up. See that? Bam. And last but not least, we're gonna take our cool looking scale effects here. Starting off around the nose. You know? And it goes from small to big, so depending on where you want to scale and how you want to make them look. You can quickly work around, make a quick little scale texture. Back in with some freehand, you know, highlight your areas. Bring in some of those, a little bit of maybe some highlights here. See, it lets you make in these little cracks nice and easy, quick and fast. Maybe we want to use some of this, some of this one. Pretty good. So again, just come around for your hand. I like to go back and add highlights. Especially on a painting like this, which is supposed to be bright. There you go guys, 
that's how I use the scale stencil. And there's lots of uses, obviously. Um, if you wanted to make something bigger, more, if you wanted to just cover something in scales, obviously you could do that in this with this stencil. Uh, I'm just trying to show you guys a quick demonstration of how you can use it in all the ways. Um, and this is just a quick little painting I just put it together. Um, again, it's all fluorescent, so I'll try to roll the stream here of it going with the LED lights and stuff so you guys can get an idea of what that looked like. But yeah, thank you guys again for ordering the stencils. Uh, make sure you check out all the other Mike's Brush stencils. And if you have a special one that you need made, you can always contact me. If you have an, a, an idea, you know, just go ahead and post it in the comments or something. Um, as always, thanks. Thank you again for ordering. Thanks for watching the video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.